Russia calls U.S. an enemy for first time, Moscow's rhetoric is hardening. In a recent address to reporters, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov referred to the United States as an enemy, signaling a potential hardening of Moscow's rhetoric. It remains unclear if the use of the word signals an official policy change, as the spokesman had previously argued that only President Vladimir Putin can make such decisions. Washington's refusal to allow former U.S. Marine, U.N. weapons inspector and journalist Scott Ritter to travel to St. Petersburg was the latest manifestation of the rabid campaign to prevent U.S. citizens from interacting with the Russian Federation, which would only be understandable if it was somehow related to his former intelligence status, Peskov told journalists. We are now an enemy country for them, much like they are for us, Peskov said, while acknowledging that restrictions applying to former intelligence officers, especially on travel to a hostile country, are common across the world. The Kremlin previously called the United States and other Western countries that have supported and armed Ukraine and imposed sanctions on Moscow as unfriendly states or opponents. The shift in language follows Washington's decision to let Kiev use American-supplied weapons against targets inside Russia beyond what the U.S. considers Ukrainian territory. In March, Peskov noted that Moscow objects to U.S. officials who insult President Putin, but that in general there is no anti-American sentiment in Russia. He expressed hope that sooner or later the realization that the peoples of America and Russia are not enemies will eventually come. Putin said in January that the elites of Western countries were the true enemies of Russia, while Ukraine is a mere tool in their hands. The point is not that they are helping our enemy, but that they are our enemy. The Russian president said, arguing that the conflict between Moscow and Kiev was orchestrated by Western elites who seek to inflict a strategic defeat on Russia. At least four people have died. Others are missing and thousands have been forced to evacuate after torrential rain at the weekend caused widespread flooding in Bavaria of Germany. Water submerged streets and highways, broke dams and derailed a high-speed train. The historic city of Regensburg, with a population of 150,000, announced a state of emergency as the water reached a critical point amid fears that record deluges of 2013 and 2002 could be repeated. In the small southwestern town of Ebersbach in Baden-Württemberg, the water pushed through a highway wall. In both Bavaria and Baden-Württemberg over the weekend, several dams broke, in some cases leading to flooding of entire neighborhoods. One of the worst-hit towns in Bavaria was Masching, about 80 kilometers north of Munich. About 800 people were evacuated after a nearby dam burst. The carmaker Audi has suspended production at its Bavarian plant in Ingolstadt because of flooding from the river Danube. Bavarian Minister President Markus Söder said conditions in the region remain critical and tense, with water receding in some places but new flooding and evacuations elsewhere. He noted that water levels are expected to rise in Regensburg and farther down the Danube River. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, who visited affected areas, said the flooding was a reminder of critical environmental challenges. We cannot neglect the task of halting man-made climate change, he said. Nancy Faeser, who, as Germany's interior minister, is responsible for disaster response, traveled with Scholz. She told local reporters that coordination and organization work much better. The German Weather Service warned of more heavy rain in southern and eastern parts of the country.
Whoa! 